Okay guys, welcome to another video. I'm here with Aaron and we got Drew here and we are in, is this Tokyo? What, what area is this? Motesando. Motesando. Okay, Motesando, which is near Yoyogi. It's down the street basically. Yeah, hard Yogi. Area. And we are at, yes, you guys are pointing, you're ahead of me. We're at Wayback <laughs> Burger. So a couple weeks ago we went to the launch of Wayback yeah. and they invited us to come try some burgers here. So. We're just gonna go do that right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's go. Hey. Today I'm here with Aaron. What's and up? We also got who's this guy we got here? It's our cousin some, Drew. Some of you might know. It's our cousin Drew. Our cousin it? Drew, right? <laughs> yeah, this is Drew from the Totally Drew channel. Hey guys. I'm sure some of my viewers are already familiar with your channel, but if not, I'll put links down below. Go check out his channel. We are at Wayback Way Burger. Now you remember what a couple weeks ago we got yeah. him. We got invited to the Wayback Burger press release yep. conference as the Burger Brothers. Um, well, at that time, we had some samples, mm -hmm. but they could have been better. They could have been a little fresher, or you know what I mean. That so, that was uh, the biggest thing. Yeah. They were kind of cold. They were a little old, like because they prepped everything ahead of time, and so by the time we got them, it just wasn't as good as it could have been. Right. So we wanted to get them fresh yes. and from the source. So we came back to try some more of their burgers. Um, they actually gave us a coupon. We could get some of these for free. So that was really nice of them. So thank nice. you. Thank, thank you, you to much. Wayback for that. And uh, shall we tell everyone what we got? And let's dive in before these get old. Yeah, yeah. exactly, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Drew, why don't you go okay. ahead and start? What did you order? Uh, so I got the actual cheesy here. Okay, um, that's called the cheesy. Che-e-e-e-e-e-e. -e 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 yeah, it's the cheesy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You can see that the bun has been inverted on top and bottom. They butter it, of course, but yeah. It's just meat and cheese. Yeah. So it, it just but doesn't okay. get any better, you know? Yeah. We got the crispers, the barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. and of course, in yeah. honor of Pulp Fiction, it's not a $5 shake, it's an $8 shake. Oh, wow. <laughs> Inflation, people. Cigar. And of course, I got a little bit of a barbecue sauce for okay. dipping. The bun is like totally upside down on this, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I think we got a chance to try this at the press conference yes. as well. They butter, they butter the bun and then they flip it around yeah, so yeah. It, it gets all over your hands. It's yeah, <laughs> it's kind of greasy. Buttery stuff. I loved it though, I really do. I love the buttery of it. It's a greasy, of it. cheesy burger. Right, yeah. What did you get, Aaron? I got a double bacon burger. Oh, it's wow. It's a double patty, bread, toasted bun, which is good. You got uh, two patties. Two things of bacon, we got bacon underneath, bacon on top, two things of cheese, tomato, lettuce, we got pickles, onions, ketchup. I was thinking when they said tomato. double bacon, I was thinking there'd be double bacon. Double amount But it's bacon. a double patty with bacon yes. kind of thing. Ah. It's a burger with healthy vegetables. Oh wait, <laughs> there's more bacon underneath oh, the patty. It is double bacon. This is bacon down ah. below. Awesome, and that looks like really good bacon too. Yeah. Yeah, you got some onion rings over there too? Yep. And we got two sauces. Ranch, mm -hmm. which is a very is a staple of the Midwest, yeah. which we love. Yeah. And then a new one that's only here at Wayback, which is the uh, Wayback Gold. A uh, mixture of honey mustard and barbecue, I believe. Right. And we, we also got our cheesy cheesy on the side so that we could hang out with Drew and have a cheesy together. Absolutely. Yeah. And they also gave us a free, yeah, the next milk. It's not a can; it's a, car, a round carton, I guess, yeah. of uh, milk. This is uh, fake milk, 
Uh, oats, 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 oats milk. Oats Fake milk, milk. They said mm. it's, it's not cow's milk. All right, uh, let's cheers. Try it. Here's Ding. to our our health. Oh, I got a drink from this side. Here we go. Wash the faces. Oh yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll be very oh. nice about that. No, oh. thank you. At I, first, you can taste the oat. Yeah, yeah. It's At strong. first, yeah. I'm drinking it. It's like, it's almost like the cereal milk at the bottom. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you eat cereal, way, not not sugary cereal, but just no. like a bran or something, think, it's got that taste. But then there's this aftertaste. What that cereal would give that flavor? You no, know, you know what it is. You ever eat porridge? Mm, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of oh, like if you pour, you know, have porridge and you got the milk. If you pour milk over top mm, or whatever, it's kind yeah. of that taste to me. Yeah, which it's is not, still not good, but it's. I can see how some people would like this though. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and it's so healthy. It's like natto, right? It's not good, but it's healthy. So you gotta love it, right? <laughs> no, no, Japanese do. <laughs> what did you get, by the way? Okay, I'll show you what I got. I got a melon soda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oat milk. <laughs> and oat milk. But the burger I picked up. Oh, it's kind of heavy-ish. It's got two patties, and let's open it here. Ooh, barbecue sauce. Oh, nice. With and a couple onion, a couple rings, onion on rings. That's nice. That yeah. looks really good. I don't know. The onion rings a little, <laughs> a little soaked mm. well, <laughs> in barbecue, from the barbecue sauce. barbecue sauce, yeah. But yeah, it's got a lot of cheese, and it's got double patty. Oh, that's all. That's pretty much all that's on there. But it looks really good. I also got me some uh, spicy. spicy fries and. What was this? Chipotle? Chip Chipotle, Chipotle mayo. mayo. Chipotle mayo. So, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was really good. Let's get into this cheesy. <laughs> yes. It's a totally inverted burger. <laughs> it's crazy, man. All right. Hold so, on. it has four slices of cheese, which is yeah. G E E E Z, right? I get it. Yeah. yeah. I That's get it. That's why they too. got the four E's. Oh, yeah. Ine. Ine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers with four E's. Cheers. cheers. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty cheesy. It's cheesy. It's simple. Mm -hmm. The burger tastes good. Oh, yeah. That's the best part. When you mm. get a 100% beef fatty, right? yeah. Yeah. you know what it is. That's good. So having tried the cheesy at the other place, this is that much better, you know? Nice and fresh. Mm. It was still good there. I really enjoyed it mm. there, but yeah. I love the question. buttery bun. Yeah, yeah. there's so butter. Good. You can taste Sorry. the butter on the bun. But my question is, maybe you guys disagree, but it seems like just a gimmick that the bun's upside down. Yeah. They oh, could yeah. butter yeah. it, they could toast it, do everything, but then mm. build it normally I think I would enjoy it more because my fingers wouldn't be all greasy. Have you ever had agree? Disagree? Um, like a no, patty I agree. milk? I agree. <laughs> Have you ever had a patty milk? Oh, right. They're big at Burger King now. Yeah, the yeah. patty melts are just like this. Just instead of having a hamburger bun, it's just a normal slice of bread. Right. Buttered and toasted and everything. I think if it was grilled similar. a bit more, it might help. But no, I think having a buttered bun grilled, but keep it the regular way. Mm. Yeah. I get it. It's not as unique, obviously, but still would taste good. Mm. This is good. This is really good. This was like 1,300 yen just mm, by yeah. itself, right? Yep. Yeah. So the prices at way back are more of a premium. Mm, yeah. But you're getting a real American burger. Mm -hmm. And instead of like most Japanese places that we go to, our Japanese style of an American burger. So it's just like a little bit different uh, process of making it, different ingredients, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And this is legit a lot American. Of pork, pork mix. Yeah, I was gonna things. say like you got that 30-70 pork mix yeah. ratio. I thought I was eating ground beef, uh, and then I was told like, no, that's got like half and half, half or pork. Yeah. 40, you 60 can, pork. You, you or whatever. come across that situation. You can too. tell quite often. Like, sometimes I mean, Japanese, some, some of them season it really well. Oh yeah, sometimes they do a good job, but Japanese thinking is Hamburg, Hamburg steak, Salisbury steak, whatever right. you want to call it. It's kind of a common dish here that you can eat pretty much anywhere. Yeah. So for us, it would be as if it fell out of our burger. It's like a, a downgrade. <laughs> but for them, for them, going into the burger is almost a downgrade because they respect the hamburg. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. It's probably like popular as a sort of Western dish, Western dish. 
because it's also something easy that you can eat with chopsticks, right? As opposed oh, to a hamburger? an actual yeah. steak, you right, need a knife yeah. and fork to cut it. But yeah. And you, I see you use the burger wrap thing. Yeah. Mm. This, is, this is covered in butter. It's greasy. So, okay. <laughs> You're against the burger wrap? I never use the burger wrap. Really? Yeah. I find a lot of uh, Japanese burger places will have like a like a really messy sauce. Mm, mm, mm. And so without the wrap, that stuff just goes everywhere. That's true. That's true. So Moss burger. Moss burger, yeah. yeah. The, whole, the whole thing is just full of yeah, sauce, that sauce and stuff. And yeah. stuff but I don't know. For me, I like to get my hands dirty. You'll see me wiping my hands a lot all yeah. the time. But I don't know. It's part of the enjoyment, I think, of eating burgers. I Man, that's what I love about pizza, uh, hamburgers, a lot of American foods. You can just use your hands to eat it. How's the shake? Good? Um, it's, nope. a very, it's very vanilla y. So, Van what kind of shake? Vanilla y. Vanilla. Vanilla, okay. It's an $8 shake. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. What were the other options? What, I know I they had multiple. Caramel, um, chocolate. I think they got four or five different shakes. Okay. But I, I would recommend the shake, that's for sure. It's a bit pricey at 8 bucks, but it reminds me of Fat Burger when we were there <laughs> yeah. years and years ago. That's right. Now. I got the vanilla shake back then too, so okay. that's a good place too. All right, I'm gonna try the fries and onion rings. Mm. Onion rings are pretty good. You want to try one? Sure. They got a nice crispy crunch to them. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, compared to the one I saw <laughs> in my burger, these are a lot fluffier, a lot and nicer, bigger, yeah. <laughs> perhaps. Yeah. What sauce do you recommend for your? I d I did the ranch rings. on mine. I'm going I ranch too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, it's it's a lot thinner than I it's thought it was going to be. It's a lot thinner, be. yeah. Yeah. The crispers right. are kind it's, of filly. It's ranch. It's ranch. Yeah, it's ranch, right? <laughs> what are you saying about the crispers? The crispers are kind of pillowy inside. The soft okay. kind of... Uh, yeah, I want to use no some of those chipotle because I've never had it yet. Yeah. That's all right. Eh? It's got a little bit of a kick to it, you know? Mm, not bad. Not bad? Yeah. Or maybe it was the fries. I tried it with the fry <laughs> earlier. No, it's got a little bit. It, they got okay. seasoning. Here, try so some that fries. So that would go good. Here, I'll try one of these. Yeah. See if it levels it up. Mm. And it does. It's good? Mm, yeah, yeah. I like I can, that. I can see the pairing for that, yeah. Now, this sauce, mm, the is good. Yeah. barbecue honey mustard, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's not it's something... Okay. That I would choose again. Mm. Uh, I see. Right? Yeah, it's just like honey mustard and barbecue mix. Yeah, yeah. it's two opposites of sauces in a way. Mm. Why would you mix them together? You got kind of like a sweet and a tangy. This is my I favorite. Mean, it's, a, it's okay. So it's just not that bad. Yeah. I'm gonna try one. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Spicy fries are where it's at. That's Those are good, good, eh? Yeah. yeah. Onion rings are also good, good too. I, you can't go wrong with either one. Cool. Oh man, I can take my hat off. Yeah, it's, it's hot. hot. It's a hot one today. It is hot. <laughs> what is it, like 25 or something? Or 20, 25, 27. So you came here a couple weeks ago with Tabby Eats, right? Yes, yeah. How was the weather then? Oh, <laughs> um, blasted by the It was reflection. not as hot. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as hot. But we set up over here. Okay. And... uh was back here. Yep, Shinichi Satoshi, Eyes Munchies. Mm -hmm. Ordered four different burgers, all the fries. Don't get the smiley fries. Um, <laughs> okay, well, we didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had that green plant based oh, burger. That's right. The veggie burger. The, the um, next meat mm, burger. Next yeah, meat? we sampled that as well. She loved it. Oh, okay. What did you guys think? Uh, no thanks. Right? Yeah. yeah. At the press conference, it was just not my thing at all. I'm, um, su I'm sure here it would be better than what we tried, but mm. still. I'm just not, yeah, a, I'm not a mushroom yeah, yeah. guy. Mushrooms, yeah. I don't 25. like mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, I just... It's kind of the equivalent of... Uh, the oat milk. Oat milk compared to normal milk. You know, in a roundabout way. I guess, you know, if you're a beefy kind of guy, you like the beef. Yeah, which it, for It's sure. hard for to sure. eat something next meat, I guess. Like... I can right. understand where vegetarians or health people, health nuts, mm. would like it. Yeah, but the question I but, have is, they make it into something else. Why don't they just make a normal burger, ketchup, mustard, pickles, cheese, mm. and then just swap out the, the, patty. the patty? Yeah, yeah. That way, yeah, yeah. health nuts can enjoy Still, a proper burger, right? No, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. you know. So, yeah, if Tabby Eats video dropped before this, I'll link to it. Otherwise, you know, you'll have to check and see 
when that pops up over there. Also, I'll put whatever See, relevant be. links down below. You can find out all this <laughs> stuff about way back. Dig burgers. in, because I'm excited to see that yeah, one. Yeah, me too. So the rodeo burger. Yeah, look at yours looks massive compared to mine. Is all that those veggies and the things healthy yeah. vegetables? <laughs> but is, is, is the bun the same even? Like yours looks. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Oh, okay, yeah, same bun. It's got mm. the cleavage or whatever on the top. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> all right, here we go. Going in. Uh, we'll show it. Going right. in for. Mm. This kid rodeo. I think it's similar be good. to a cheesy. Mm, mm, you know. Mm. All right, itadakimasu. This is what you think of when you get like a bacon cheeseburger back in the States. Right. Like this taste right here is perfect, it's spot on. I kind of wish mine had a few more veggies like yours did. It's all just meat and onion rings is the vegetable. <laughs> but it's definitely got a nice beef flavor. And that's like the, the onion ring on top is is that like a, a barbecue sauce mm -hmm. that they put on? That's mm -hmm. it, right? So it's a cheesy mm -hmm. with an onion ring. Mm -hmm. Cheesy onion ring and barbecue sauce. Because they didn't have barbecue sauce on the cheesy, right? No, no. Because there's no sauce on that. No, not at all. It's just the butter. Yeah. Okay. So if you that like just beef, get mm -hmm. the cheesy. Yeah. If or you this. like or that one, right? Mm -hmm. If you want the healthy vegetables. <laughs> and the bacon. Get the double healthy bacon. bacon. <laughs> and the healthy bacon. Yeah. Get the bacon. So, I'm not sure where our receipt was. Do you remember the prices of these? They're, this, they're the same price. Um, thirteen fifty by itself, and then eighteen hundred oh. with uh, the set. The I believe. Set. Okay. What do you think of this bun, though? I like it. I actually. like it too. It's kind of it's fluffy, soft. Yeah. But it holds it's together holding really together. well. It's holding together. It's holding together. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people. When, in Japan, when they have their buns, it just like soaks up all the juices and just falls apart. Yeah, right. They either don't toast it or they just get the wrong kind of bun for a burger. But yeah, I don't really need a wrapper right? to, eat yeah. this, to eat this one here. I think you hit it really, really good there. You have to have a proper bun for a burger, hmm. right? It is very important. It's part of the equation for sure. Absolutely. Because I've been to some horrible... Well, some good places and horrible places, but mm -hmm. just the bun didn't really match or, you know, they put all the sauces on mm -hmm. and, the, or the grease from the burger yep. is soaking right through and all of a sudden your bun at the bottom goes like to so thin because it's just overly loaded, yeah. right? Or the burger itself just slides out of the bun, like the bun can't hold yeah, it in place. Yeah, exactly, right? Because it just soaked up all mm. the juice. Well constructed. Now, okay, I have a question for you guys. Uh, have you ever been to Burger King and ordered the rodeo bur cheeseburger there? I don't think so. So I remember a while back, this is like easily 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, Burger King had a rodeo burger on their menu. I didn't know if that was before mm -hmm. this or not, before in way Japan back put or? it. No, just in America. Uh, I've never been, to, I, I've been to Burger King here in Japan, but I don't remember if they have rodeo burgers or not. Mm -mm. But it's the same thing. It's the I same concept. Sometimes they might like promotional burgers right. or something. It's the same concept. It's just a normal burger with cheese, a barbecue sauce, and onion rings, and that's it. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. But Burger King had it as they well. They do have something like that here. Okay. Yeah, at Moss Burger they do. They have a Friday only. Oh yeah. Rodeo mm. burger with chili on top. It's a rodeo chili burger. Oh damn! You know what I'm talking about? It's actually pretty good. I've never, I, 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 I never eat Moss Burger. I, I recommend it if you go to Moss Burger. That's the one to get. Only on Fridays. I so. do like Burger King, especially their one pound burgers. Mm -hmm. Oh, tried them all. Did They're, you eat the Yeti? Yep. Oh, you did. Yep. Okay. Yep. How was that? That thing is huge, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> our we, viewers asked us to go try it. We tried to go, but they wouldn't serve it before... 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, we don't have time for this. It was like noon or something. Yeah, it doesn't make sense Give why they would do it at 2 p.m. Well... But... Yeah, I've tried the Maxim Burger, the Extreme, uh, the Yeti. The Ugly. Out of, the Ugly. <laughs> like, out of all of them, actually, the Yeti was my favorite. Oh, really? Because it had that uh, different cheese. Yeah. And it, was, it didn't have like anything crazy like the vegetable, the healthy vegetables, mm. uh, or anything <laughs> like that. It was just basically cheese, meat, four layers of everything, and away you go, right? Yeah, like, simple. Simple's best. I mean, when it comes to burgers, yeah. I think so. I've seen so many burger places in Japan where they stack up like 
lettuce, tomato, lettuce, like a thick cut of onion, lettuce, and like <laughs> just like, just like it's like, I don't know, a meter tall burger, but there's like this little thin patty of, of meat, and that's it. And it's like twenty bucks, right? And it's yeah, twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Like why? That's no, why thank you. I kind of don't like moss burger because of that thick tomato. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine know. with that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't mind a thick tomato, uh, but it has to be like a crispy, fresh tomato. Ah, uh, not If it's just something, mush. yeah, that's just mush, it's not, it's not worth the time. Do you drink melon soda a lot? I've been trying to cut back on drinking sodas and things mm. in general, right? So usually like KFC has like lemonade and stuff like that. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah it's probably just as sugary, but you know, but yeah, in the videos people enjoy, hey, what's that green thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, melon yeah, soda. Right. You not not a fan or? Oh, I'm I I can drink it. Okay. Just, uh, You've given the choice between oat uh, milk. That. Okay. Yeah, no, no <laughs> oat milk. No, thank okay. you. Have you tried a lot of the different alternatives to milk, like almond milk, soy no. milk, and all that stuff? No. I've yeah. tried a few of them. I actually like almond milk. Really? It's not bad. Mm, mm, mm. How do you milk an almond though? <laughs> I don't get it. I like soy milk, almond milk. I like oat milk, but when I make my smoothies at home, like a banana smoothie in the morning or something, I'll eat my... You're, it's not the same as this, obviously. No, God, no. no. <laughs> no. Um, then I'll, I'll drink it and stuff, but otherwise I'll just have that nice, thick Japanese milk. Ah, uh, okay. That takes forever to get used to when you first come to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that is spot on, no. It's 3.6%, which is the weird. equivalent is homogenized, right? A little bit stronger little bit than homogenized, yeah. but yeah. Because you're probably used to drinking 2%, 2 at home. Yeah, 1%, 2%. Right? Yep. So but overall, yeah. what did you think of that burger? I think I liked it better than just the cheesy. It was similar. There's a lot of meat mm. and cheese. But it had the barbecue sauce. It kind of leveled it up right a little bit. Yeah. So. However, I think next time I would get something more like what Aaron had with some veggies on it. Some bacon on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really good, by the way. The cla the uh, bacon cheeseburger. Like I just now get into a mustard. Like the mustard wasn't uh, on the whole thing. Uh, it was like on the back half. But it's it's good. I really enjoyed this. Awesome. I think I had the same thing as you, but a triple last time I was here. Oh really? And as good as it was, I actually ate the cheesy. Oh really? Mm. Okay. Like just oh. that meat. And that cheese with the buttered bun is good enough for me. Okay. Awesome. Can you do as many patties as you want? I think you can. Probably. Yeah. They yeah. just have a patty like for a couple hundred yen. You can mm. just add it. So if you want to build a monster burger, you could. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because here they have like all the different burgers and stuff. And then they have the build your own burger. Mm. And you can get the sauces. You can get like jalapeno. I think I had jalapeno oh. on mine. Oh, really? That would have been good. Mm. So that might be another option instead of ordering like the ro the cheesy or the rodeo or the you know the double bacon. Double bacon. Yeah. You can build actually build it and get you know whatever toppings that you want yeah. on it. Of course, the way back way is mustard, ketchup, pickles, onions, and lettuce. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know uh, when you look at the menu and stuff, but building your own, I think, just kind of creates a little bit you know to your taste profile and stuff. So. Jalapeno for me is always a plus on burgers. Us too. Yeah. So I imagine, maybe I don't know a lot, but at least some of our viewers have been to a Wayback, probably mm -hmm. in the U.S. Let us know what you think. Have you tried the stuff we've tried today? What's your Do favorite you have a burger? preference? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Yeah. What about the smiley fries? I can't remember. Are they a thing only in Japan or? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let us know if you got smiley fries. <laughs> we didn't order them today, but at the tasting thing, they had them there. I think he said they were specifically for Japan. Like it was uh -huh. something you knew, okay. new and unique. Uh, yeah, I think on. that's what the chef said. Oh, okay. But what did you guys think of them though? Like besides the pillowy, the smile and the pillowy. I mean, softness inside. It's a cute thing for kids. Mm. Mm. I think that's the market for it, yeah. right? But I would rather have normal fries than the yeah, smiley exactly. ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, those spicy fries are probably the best. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm full. Okay, I'll have one more. Because <laughs> this is an amazing combination. Mm. It's really good. This Chipotle stuff is good. Mm. I would never think to take honey, mustard, and barbecue and mix them together. 
As a kid, I did many weird things, such as mixing a bunch of sauces together just to try to see what would come out yeah, like of it. At the fountain machine, you're I mixing did that all, as the, well. all the pops and right. sodas, well. whatever you call them. Yeah. <laughs> Doing all kinds of cocktails, so we're just mixing everything together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> nice little setup they have up here. I like the yeah, patio. It's good. I don't see any dogs here now, but this outdoor area is like dog friendly, apparently. Yeah, according to their website, at least. Yeah, they you did could. mention that at the press conference, too. Right. That it is pet friendly. Oh, yeah. guess run so coming you, tomorrow. You can bring your dog here. <laughs> oh, really? You're going to come back? You have a dog? I have two puppies. What kind? Uh, Maltese. Uh, one's a Maltese Chihuahua, and one's a Maltese Toy Poodle. Okay. Both about five years old. Bring They're, him here for a burger. That's what I'm thinking. What are you going to get? Are you going to decide? I'm going to do the rodeo. <laughs> Try the rodeo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that is the question. Would you come back? Would you come back? And apparently you would. I mean, you can bring your dog here too, but mm. even if you couldn't bring your dog, just I, based on the food. I think based on the food and the price, I would come back. Of course, we always want the best value. Mm. But for the taste of the burgers yeah. that I've had, mm -hmm. um, those spicy fries, my goodness. Those are good. And the chipotle sauce, chipotle? Mm -hmm. Mm. Sauce, I think, is great. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, I like the milkshake. So, yeah, yeah I think for the quality, uh, it's okay. Because you could find other places in Japan that are going to pay 20 to $22 for the set that I had today. Oh, yeah? And not as good. Yeah. I've been there, done that. So, yeah, I would definitely come back uh, for some I mean, of these it is, it is a bit pricey, but compared to some other places, yeah. it's, it's acceptable. Right. Yeah, yeah I think okay. so. I feel the quality of the burgers here are really good. Yeah, they, it's pretty high quality. Uh, it's better than most places I've ever been, and it, it hits the uh, Americana cheeseburger like <laughs> spot on. Like it's a perfect American version of it. So I'm very happy that they brought it here. And if if there's a a ranking for mess factor, this didn't drip at all. No, this no, is no. Easy to eat. Right. Just a little messy on the hands, but I mean with the butter. The butter, yeah, yeah. The butter and stuff, right? But overall. I'd, I'd give this a good 8 out of 10. Thumbs up. On an experience, yeah. Okay. For sure. I hope that's what I said on tab eats too. <laughs> <laughs> just say a bunch of them now and edit whatever. Well, it's a different burger this Well, I think I would give this a 7.5. Mm. Cut. Well, I think I would give this about an 8. <laughs> Cut. Uh, no, I'm in an 8.5. You didn't have the free milk though, so your rating's probably higher here today. Oh, we got some, this, they're putting the shade up for us now. <laughs> Sun. Like, really? Thanks. <laughs> and we're finished. Okay, guys, I guess that's it for Way Back Burgers. I want to say thanks to Aaron for joining us today. And, of course, our special guest, Drew. Drew. Yeah, his, I think he's the first... Is he the first guest we've had yes. on the Burger Brothers? Yes. Wow. Yes. I'm honored. Honorary <laughs> Burger Brother. Cousin Drew? Cousin Drew. Cousin Drew. Cousin <laughs> Drew. Okay, so I'll leave links downstairs. You can go check out his channel. And I think you're shoot, shooting some footage today, or you have some footage. behind the scenes. You have some way back footage yep. that'll appear over there at some point, whether it is or not. I'll put a link. So please go check that out. Give him some love. This is kind of like just a bonus yeah. episode, I guess we could say. So we don't really rank it because that's all sorted out already. Yep. So this and is just a yeah, bonus to season three. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe and thumb up this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. That's very important. And ring that dinner bell. Ring that dinner bell so you don't miss our next video. And on that note, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wee. Good? Yay. Good enough. I'd like to see your edit on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, it's going to be crazy. You know what they put on their fries in Delaware? Way back gold. Oat milk. <laughs> <laughs>